order. I can indirectly compare objects by length. So we have a story to start us today. Measuring Penny by Lorleen Levy. My name is Lisa, and my teacher says our next big homework project is to measure something. Mr. Jason says that we can measure anything, like a sofa, a television set, or a doll. When I got home today, my dog Penny jumped all over me as usual. Wow, I could measure Penny for my homework. She's a Boston Terrier and is bigger than a pug and smaller than a Cocker Spaniel. She's about the size of a Shetland Sheepdog. Penny, please stop drooling. Come on, Penny, I'll get a ruler and we'll run over to the park. Look at all the dogs out here today. Hey, get down. I can't believe how many dogs live around here. Fine, I'll measure some of you too. We're supposed to use a standard unit, so let me use inches to see how long your noses are. Stop licking my face. I'll measure your tails with a non-standard unit, dog biscuits. Will you please hold still? Penny has the shortest tail. I'll measure your ears with another non-standard unit, cotton swabs. Don't wiggle so much. Let's see how wide your paw prints are. I'll turn over my ruler and measure with another standard unit, centimeters. I want to see how tall you are. Everybody sit. Let's see how high you can jump. Penny can jump up to my waist. I could use myself to measure with. There's no scale here in the park, so I can't weigh anything. Wait, I could use the seesaw to see how heavy Penny is compared with the other dogs. The seesaw is down on Penny's end, so she is heavier than the pug. Now Penny's end is up because she is lighter than the Cocker Spaniel. The seesaw is balanced so she weighs about the same as the Shetland Sheepdog. You look thirsty, Penny. We'd better go home and get you a drink. See you later, everybody. Let's stop in the bathroom so I can weigh you. Get on the scale. You're exactly 16 pounds. Now let's go to the kitchen for your drink. Mr. Jason says volume is the amount of space something fills like water in a cup. So what volume of water do you want? A cup, a pint, a quart, or a gallon? Maybe a tablespoon or a teaspoon? You drank a cup of water already today and I'll give you another cup now. I suppose you're hungry too. No, you can't have a whole bag of dog food. I'll give you a half a cup. Sometimes dad and I make homemade dog biscuits. We measure the ingredients so they taste good. Well, at least to you know who. I'm gonna follow Penny around all day Saturday to measure how much time I spend taking care of her. I'll make a poster for this part.
I'll measure how quickly Penny can run to different places. She can get from her bed to the kitchen in six seconds. Temperature is important to Penny. She doesn't like things that are too hot or too cold. Penny likes to go on longer walks when the weather is nice. In fact, you can almost tell the temperature outside just by looking at her. The last thing I'm gonna measure Penny with is money. Mom flipped through her checkbook to help me figure this out. We decided that Penny was kind of expensive. But she's worth a lot too. I'm sure Mr. Jason will give me a good grade on this measuring project. Penny, maybe we should change your name to Million. Okay, so she did a whole lot of measuring with her dog. That was awfully silly. So let's look at these review questions over here. So the first one says, oh, too close. Gordon has... 40 seeds. He plants 30 of them. How many seeds does Gordon have left? So he crossed off three of them. So 40 minus 30. How many tens does he have left? He's got one ten, so he has ten seeds left. Well, look at the little caterpillars. Which one is the shortest? Which one's the shortest? A, B, C, or D? Yell your answer out if you're at home. I can look at those and I can see, oh, he's so cute. Little C is the shortest. And the last one, write less than, greater than, or equal to to compare the numbers. We've talked about this. We know that when we compare numbers, the number that the alligator eats is always the smaller number. And our smaller number in this is the, or the, whoo, the alligator always eats the bigger number. Miss Harold just said it completely backwards. He always eats the bigger number, so he's going to eat the number 32. Just erase all of that that Miss Harold just said from your brain because I just got it wrong. So like we've told you guys before, sometimes teachers make mistakes. It's okay. Everybody makes mistakes. So for these examples, you are also going to circle the object that is longer. This page says longer. So I'm going to look at these cubes. I see that this one is about one, two, a little bit more than two. So I'm going to put a two over this. And then I'm going to look at this one. This one is one, two, three, a little bit more than three. So I know just by looking at those that this one is longer. Circle the object that is longer. I look at this car and I see one, two, a little bit more than two. One, two, three. Whew, that one's about three and a half, but it's still three, so it's longer. Make sure you're circling and looking to see which one it's asking if it wants longer or if it wants shorter. <coughs> On this one, you're also going to circle the one that is longer. You can do that one independently. So sometimes, these ones are tricky. So we're going to do this one together. So use the clues below to figure out the name of each boy. Write the name under the correct boy. So Fred is taller than Martin. And Jimmy is shorter than Martin. So if Fred is taller than Martin, but Jimmy is shorter than Martin. So Fred must be the tallest. Because Fred is taller than Martin. And Jimmy is shorter than Martin. So that must mean Martin must be the one that's in the middle. Because Fred is taller than Martin. So I checked that one off. And Jimmy is shorter than Martin. So if I put Jimmy right here, that last one would be shorter. So this one would be Jimmy. 
So think about those. Once you have your tallest person placed, it should really be easy and your people should fall into place. You have another one that you need to try. John is taller than Sam. Sam is shorter than John. Your job for today is to complete your Envisions math pages. You have pages 600, 700.